Hello everyone and welcome to our How to Play the Transformers TCG from Wizards of the Coast video. This is a part of our Learning Transformers series. If you are just now entering this, you can head to our website. Every, we cover everything from what is Transformers the TCG, how to play is this chapter, and even a buyer's guide and some more information. So you can check that out and it's a lot easier to digest in that, that blog article and video form. Uh, but here we'll be covering the ins and outs of playing this game. Uh, it's, it's honestly a very simple game. Mm -hmm. um, so this video should not be super intense. Uh, so enjoy. And we will try to limit the more than meets the eye jokes. Uh, because I'm going to tell you it's hard. There are thousands. It's very difficult to do At that. every turn. Yeah. All right, so Transformers is basically a game where we're going to be beating each other up. Uh, what we have here is two Autobot starter sets. Now, they're marketed as two players can play one Autobot starter set. That would essentially be, you know, 2v2, uh, and that is awful. So, I, <laughs> I mean, it's just horrible. It's, it's um, just very basic. You get, um, you get nothing a in lot terms of, of the game. A lot of this game, one of the things we've seen in a lot of recent games is the lack of resources, which this game has. And so, a big part of this game is the basically action economy, which is managing the order you do things in and what you're doing when it is your turn. And so when you only have two characters, that is even more limited, and this game is not intended to be super complex. Right. Um, so really recommended at least getting two starters to try try the game for the first time, which we'll be doing here. So. And we've got uh, Autobots v Autobots, so unfortunately there's some infighting going on. Half of them are fake, half of them are real. And the first thing that we do, in, like in most card games, we're going to shuffle our decks up. And, and then, these are just straight up starter decks. That's right, straight up starter decks. They are identical. And then we're going to draw three cards a piece and we're going to determine who goes first. And now another thing worth noting really quick is how you win the game. I uh, to kind of give some context here. The win condition is defeating all of your opponent's uh, bots. So right. the first player, the last player standing, I guess, the last bot standing wins the game. Uh, and we'll be covering how that works in a second. So we drew three. Now we're going to turn first player. Am I the one or the three? If you're, you'll be the three. If all we right. hit three, you're first player. One. Hit the one. I'll be first player. All right. Okay, now getting the game started, there is some exceptional rules going on. <laughs> some very exceptional rules. The way that the game functions in, in a normal turn is there's a few things that happen in any order that you want. The first thing you can do is you can flip one of your cards, and you'll notice that on the back, they're fancy in foil here. I don't know if that's going to be forever the I case. Think that is standard. Well, that's exciting. As far as I know. Probably not good for the camera, but we'll take it. So you can flip <laughs> one of your things from uh, bot to alt or alt to bot, or as I call it, uh, car form. And then you can uh, essentially play a card, an action card. You can play an upgrade card, and then you attack essentially to end your turn. Uh, that's like the last thing that you do is attack. Yeah, and it's clear, to be clear, attacking in this game does end your turn. Yeah, it's so it. that's the last that's thing. That's the last turn, thing. Yeah. So you kind of do some building up things, and then whenever you're ready to end your turn, that's when you launch the attack. You can only attack things that are tapped on your opponent's side of the board. If nothing's tapped, you can tap anything. If everything's tapped, you can attack anything. So the way in which you attack dictates how your opponent can respond in kind, and that is a big part of the game is figuring out how that works. Uh, and so on my first turn as the first player, I actually have some caveats. And All right. one such caveat is that I will not be able to play any cards, but I can still do all the rest of the things. So whenever my turn begins, I get to draw a card. All right. That signifies that my turn has now begun. <laughs> so I can flip a card as I like, and I'm gonna show some things that I've learned. I'm gonna flip Optimus Prime. Okay. That puts him over into his new mode. And you'll notice that on these cards, you can see in the corner, it will tell you what stat lines are on the other side of the card. The stat lines are as follows. You have an attack stat, which is there with the sword, and that is the number of attack value that you start with. Then you have the health, which is that little heart with the wrench, and then you have armor, and that's gonna tell you how much incoming damage you generally deflect before it goes through to your uh, health. So very basic stat lines, attack, defense, and health. So I flipped Optimus Prime. Normally I would get to play up to two cards, an upgrade and or an action. However, it's my first turn, and I'm the first player, so I cannot do that. And then I must attack. So my first attack is actually going to be with Ironhide. I'm going to declare the attack here, and that's going to start with a three attack value, and I get to choose any target because there are no tapped cards on Zack's side of the board. Okay. Now I notice everybody's about equal. Ironhide's got a little more armor. 
thank you for the name. Uh, Optimus Prime is your most expensive uh, card. You can tell at the bottom of the card there is a star value, and that tells you essentially what the point cost is to bring a, uh, a what are these, transformers, a transformer, guess, ultimately, yeah. into your force. I didn't know if the bad guys were called. They're Decepticons, but they're still Transformers, Yeah, right? because the good guys are Autobots. Dinobots still transforming. Anything yeah. transforming is a transformer, it's a transformer you might yeah. say. Uh, you can have up to 25 stars in your force. So right here in the starter, we have 24 cards. You can see easily the five stack up, and then you add a star for the little leftovers. Um, I'm gonna attack Bumblebee, okay. because it's the lowest health and the lowest armor on the board. And so now we enter the Rock'em Sock'em. So here's the thing. This is, so we're gonna flip cards from our deck to determine the kind of a random outcome in this attack. And at first, this was very jarring to me. As somebody who likes to be very much in control of the game, what's going on, uh, this is a game that you need to let go a little bit, you need to have a lot of fun with it, and then I was thinking, Zach, this is exactly like Hold'em in a lot of ways. You know, where you're, you're making your bets early, and then sometimes you drop three cards and you just get wrecked. That's right. So let's see what happens. Ironhide starts with a three, and the attacker is going to reveal two cards from the top of the deck. Oh, yeah. All right. And then I'm going to look at the top right corner and count up any number of orange icons that I have and add that to my attack value. Because that matches your orange attack stat. It makes yep. sense, right? So now I have five attack. Zach is going to flip two cards from his deck. And Bumblebee you can imagine where it goes from here. Two armor, and I flipped two attack. So that doesn't add anything. These, after we reveal them, they go to our scrap pile, which is a discard pile. Um, so you're a five total to my two armor. So I will take three damage. Boom, just like that and we've done it. Now, one kind of weird caveat in this game, whenever you play cards during your turn, they go into the set aside area, and that counts for flipped battle cards as well. And at the very end, they all go to your scrap. And I think that's to prevent any kind of cycling or weird stuff with sure. your discard pile. Well, and we also, once you run out of deck, you reshuffle it back and go through it, and so that anything that reshuffles your deck would have to wait on the card you're playing that that's, turn. So. He's right, you know. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. Now, now it goes to your me. first turn, which has a little bit of a caveat to it as well. It does. The first two turns do. So I draw a card, and then after I draw a card, I would get to play my cards, but because it's my first turn, I only get to play a card. One single card, in action or in upgrade, as you like. And this is just for the first two turns of the game. It's kind of an acceleration process into the full uh, scenario. Hmm. Hmm, a lot of choices going on here, huh? Mm -hmm, Perhaps mm -hmm. it's not so simple after all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip Red Alert. All right. And now an, an important element of this too is now I have to attack Ironhide, because he's your only, only tapped character. And he's got that armor, the value that I just love. That's right, and so because you attack Bumblebee, I also don't want to attack with Bumblebee yet, because I'm wanting to force you to kind of spread your damage around. Uh, the one card I'll play is called Rapid Ascent, and this is an upgrade in its armor. So there's three different kinds of upgrades, and each Autobot, or yeah, Autobot, no. In this case, Autobot, Autobot, but each Transformer. Each Transformer, that's the right word. Each Transformer. <laughs> uh, it's only on the back have, of every card. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's everywhere. Um, each Transformer can have one of each kind of upgrade on, so each Transformer can have one armor upgrade. Um, and the armor upgrade says, when I attach this to a ranged character, and you'll see the ranged up icon here on the top right of the character, my opponent chooses a card from their hand and scraps it. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> it's called Rapid Ascent. So it also gives me a static plus one armor, um, which thematically makes sense because he's basically like flying into the air so that you can't attack him as well. All right, I'm going to get rid of some armor plating. And you notice it has that blue icon. That's what you were looking for on defense. Yep. That's what I'll be looking for now. And so then I'll go ahead and actually attack with Red Alert. He has that attack of five, which mm. is super powerful in this, the bot form. Uh, so I'll tap him, and now I have to attack Ironhide. So I'm attacking Ironhide, and I'll reveal the top Bring it on. So the first one is a plus one and a blank. Blank. So skis. I've got a six total, and this goes to my set aside pile. Six to three. That's a special card that I will resolve yes. right now. So I immediately get to flip two additional cards. And if I flip another bonus, which is the little white icon, it doesn't do anything. So it's just kind of a nice little accelerator. So this is my first flip. I flipped a bonus, and then that brings two cards with it, which did nothing for me, consequently. And then my second card, also doing nothing, because it has the attack icon. So I have three defense. How much do you do there? Five. Six, wasn't it? Didn't you do six? Oh, Five yeah, plus I did. One? I got plus one, so six. All right, so I'm at three on Ironhide. OK. And then that'll be the end of my turn because That's I attacked. It. And now we're past the first two caveated, weird, so restricted turns. 
Now it's time to rock them, sock them. Let's bring it on. So red alert over there, zero armor, plus one for rapid ascent. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can just take him right off the board here. Start my turn, I will draw a card. Oh yes, that's what, that's what you want right there. Then I get to play two cards, one upgrade and one action card. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Or I can flip a character too. So the, I'm gonna go and flip Optimus Prime. And when I flip to this mode, I draw a card. So Optimus is kind of like my draw engine. Seems good. I like those cards. And this is a big part of the game, right? Like figuring out where and how to flip. You flip for stats, you flip for abilities. Like when Bumblebee flips, you give people pierce. It's really nice. Then I will play, let's get, uh, let's just get Red Alert. Oh no, I wanna save him for when he's, when he's really good. See, Optimus is same as in truck as he is in uh, attack mode. The only thing he's really doing different is that ability. That's right. So I'm, I'm transforming Optimus constantly. And he is ranged. Well, good for him. Who, thought, who would think a semi is ranged? Well, he's got the guns, and the rockets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him in the air. Okay. Uh, let's play Rapid Ascent on Optimus Prime. When you put this on a ranged character, which I did, your opponent chooses a card and scraps it. Did it. All right, repair bay gone. And then I can play an action card, and I'm going to. Can you believe it? First full turn here. I'm going to play Leap into Battle All right. on Optimus Prime. It's going to give him plus three attack. I'm just going to put it here to make it nice and thematic. Man. And you might expect what's coming up next. He's probably attacking. He is attacking. So I All start right. with a value of six. All right. And I'm going to add a bunch of damage to it. Now, I've drawn a lot of damage out of this deck already. You would so assume I that there's like a certain amount of defense coming up. Nothing. Oh, baby, give me two. And you have, you're attacking a red alert, I assume. That's correct, yeah. Okay, so Same you are currently at eight. Seven, eight. And yeah. I am at one armor, so I will go ahead and reveal here. One blue and a two attack. So I'm at two armor to the eight, so he will take six damage. And he's Enjoy only got 10 your health, so six damage, he is well on buddy. his way to Troubleville. All right, and then the, my turn is over, so these will all go into my discard pile, also known as my scrap in this game. And then, Zach, it's over to you. All right, so now I get my normal turn, so I'll draw a card. Um, oh, that's interesting. Uh, two cards, you can flip and then attack. So let's go ahead and flip Red Alert. Oh, and you back. can flip a character that you're not activating that turn, which took me a few games to figure out. But that gives him an armor stat. So now he's got an armor of three, right? That's pretty good. So I baited tasty. some damage over here, and then now he's getting a little harder to hit. I think I can still get it through. Uh, my action card is Repair Bay. So I heal one damage from all of my um, characters. Oh, turtle, turtle Man over here. Yep, that's right. And then I will, uh, as you noted, Optimus' stats are the same each way. I'll play an upgrade on him. He gets bold one. So when I'm flipping battle cards, I actually get attacking. Uh, I get an extra one. Okay. So I'll go ahead and attack here with Optimus, and I'll attack the. Are you flipping Iron. anything? Oh, you flipped red alert. Yep. That's right. What a what a strategic play. So I am currently at three attack, but I have bold one, so I get to flip three cards. And you're so attacking guess, who? Uh, Ironhide. All right, Ironhide, be an attack. So I resolve special, so I'll go ahead and reveal two more. Ah, uh, yeah. Adds one, okay, and then one. I still have two left because of bold one. A special, the second special, not doing anything. And that is also going to add one. So now my total is a five. Five. Two, an armor value of three. Yep. And let's put these and here. And here we go on the flip. Nothing. All right. Nothing. All right. So armor three, which means you're going to take two damage. Ironhide, no. <laughs> All right, fine. Over to me. It's you. All right. Draw my card to start my turn. Mm, yes, that's what I'm <laughs> talking about. Let me just check the other side of these guys, see for what my abilities are. Ooh, that's nice. All right, bring it on. Here, okay. this is happening. This is happening. Just go right for it. Now. I, I'm. I was surprised on like my second or third game uh, when we started playing with four characters. How quickly characters get defeated. Yeah. It was kind of a once a turn of affair, and if you're doing it right. All right, I'm going to. Oh, that's tempting. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Let's flip Bumblebee. Look at that. He looks cool in that Just mode. great. Tough one. So he actually gets to add an extra card when he's defending. That's right. 
So then I've got two cards that I might want to play, and I could do this in any order. I just like to flip them first because Transformers. <laughs> um, so you don't forget it. That's right. Another good way of looking at that. Let's do a... Let's make Bumblebee the, the boss. What do you think? He's hard to kill at the end with that tough one. All right, let's put a flamethrower on him. That's bold two. And he's bold two and tough one, so Bumblebee also, really bringing it home. As you play flamethrower, I want to note the, the coolness of that like retro 80s art. This is what they're doing. So they've got the fancy new stuff on the Transformers themselves, and they've got the retro art on the old, old cards, which is awesome. I also have a sneaking suspicion, and I don't know if this is true, that that art was super easy to get a hold of <laughs> you mean from the series. Years right? of cartoon art from the past? That's right. Um, then let's do, so that's a weapon. Let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and play, I just don't want to do it, Zach. No, I'm going to do it. All right, here we go. Let's do a rapid conversion. Okay, forces him to flip. Flip Optimus over. And that's going to set me up to draw a card next turn, that's which right. I want because I only have two. I'm feeling that pain, one card over yeah. here. And then five, you've got 10 health over there. Let's see if Bumblebee can do it. So Bumblebee is gonna lay out an attack So he's on got four attack with bold two. Red alert, so I can choose between red alert and Optimus Prime. That's right. Obviously Focus Fire is the name of this game. So four, and I'm gonna flip four cards. It's a lot, if you hit a special, it's a lot. One, ugh. Blank on the defense there. Two, good. Four, plus one. Three, plus two. Good. Oh uh, yeah, bonus. And special, oh no. One. Now we're plus three. Okay. All right, so plus three. So seven total, four okay. plus three. And I've got three armor, so I'm gonna add to that. Two nothing. attack, which is nothing. <laughs> and one, so that's four armor. All right, four so armor against seven. He'll take three damage. All right. He's at eight out of 10. That's impressive. I need something good. And then all of these here. go to the scrap, and it's over to you, Zach. Okay, so start my turn, I'll draw a card. <laughs> oh man, these cards are great. <laughs> I'll talk to you about the cards I have. That when I had two cards, I'll remind you what Someone they were. Should have been flipping Optimus Prime. It sounds yeah, it like. definitely should have been. Um, so I am going to think about this very, very intently. Hmm. I am going to uh, flip Bumblebee. All right. And so a tough one. I'm going to attack with Bumblebee. Playing no cards. Playing no cards. Well, how is that feasible? You'll find out. <laughs> uh, so Bumblebee will attack here. Um, so he's got a four. <laughs> All right. And you've got three armor. I'm looking to, to do some work. We'll see if that gets done. So I'm Good flipping luck. to nothing and a special. So oh, you have two more. He's got a chance. Plus so one. You're saying there's and blank. So I'm at a five. I need you to not draw any blues defeat you. There's the double attack. There it is. Ah. All right, so five damage to your three armor. Done. Ironhide out. Ironhide out of here. Not so iron after all, looks like. We all know that SUVs roll over too easily. <laughs> is he an SUV? I think so. I yeah, he looks kind of like a Jeep. Hard to tell. It says truck, but uh, I think that's being uh, generous. Okay, my go. Draw a card. All right. Let's see if you can get my red alert off the table I'm here. I'm flipping Optimus to draw a card. Man, that is an actual very important engine to get going, I have found out. And this is why you do it, because my first action, I will do two damage to an enemy. Wow, man, just red alert ace from them. a plasma burst. Armor be gone. Get right out of town. And then... Mm. Oh my gosh, are you serious? This is incredible. Uh, let's put a Piercing Blaster on Red Alert. I chose the card over the five attack, which it is gives cool. you Pierce three, though, Pierce right? three, do at least three damage when attacking, but not more than the total attack uh, value. So the way that works is if you do two, even if I cancel it with armor, the two gets through. That's right. But if you did 10, it would still not, it wouldn't add any damage. Right? That is correct. Okay, so now we move on to the attack because that's what I'm here to do. So three with Pierce three. So I'm definitely, if I can at least get three in, that's fine with me. Let's go with Bumblebee, mm -hmm. uh, one of the tapped characters there. And here we go, coming in hot. Defense, no. 
Offense, yes. Okay, so, so four. four damage total. I'll go ahead and flip two. I have tough one, so I flip three. We get blank, attack, and defense. So I have armor three. Pierce three. But you have pierce three. Welcome so to three damage, You're going to hit friend. me with three damage. You just got pierced. And that would have been one damage had you not played that card. Okay. I like how this is going. My turn. So I'll go ahead and draw a card. Who do I want to flip? Who do you want to flip? Isn't that really the name of this game? Now, I will. Say, this is what I will say about Transformers. First of all, it's really fun. Uh, it's like it's like lighthearted. So this is the kind of game that I wouldn't get super obsessive about, like building the perfect deck. I would just have a lot of fun, especially with people that aren't like terribly complex players. Sure. Like you know, there's a number of people who might not even play tabletop games right now that would love Transformers. I can think of a lot of them in my circle yeah. of friends. And then secondarily, these are the starter decks. So the strategies here are meant to be very like straightforward and streamlined. We've looked at a lot of the cards in the upcoming set, and there are some fascinating cards in there. So I do think that it goes to a very different place once we get into the uh, the real zone. They do get slightly more complex. But it's, it's, it's super fun, right? We're just so, And transforming is like the key to the game. That's right. You're transforming every time. time. So Optimus will go ahead and transform just to set myself up for some uh, future. And uh, of course, you're all exhausted out, so I can attack anybody. Anybody um, you want. I'm gonna attack with Ironhide, and he's gonna actually attack Optimus Prime. No! Optimus has three armor, so this is gonna not be a, a huge hit, I don't think, but we'll see if I can get some Activated damage on Activated my trap card. So uh, <laughs> we'll do uh, two damage, or uh, two cards, so one and a blank, so I'm at four to your three armor. Well, this should be no problem. And he got it. I got it. Ooh, double guy. I got it in both if I needed it. All right, so no damage. No damage to truck man. Now here's an important point right, right. Now. now. This is something that I learned. So let's say that uh, Red Alert is still up at this point in the game. After that attack is launched, you keep attacking. You don't continue taking turns. Once I'm out of- I just go. You just continue going with everybody. So that's very different than the first time I played it out where I was taking a turn, playing stuff, attacking. Oh, I still had a guy left and you didn't take a turn, play stuff, attacking. It just, the board starts to wipe once one person is all very, tapped Very, very interesting. All right, so that'll be the end of the round. Um, so now we're gonna ready everything. And first player passes. To you. To me, you were the first, I was the first player. I thought it went to you because you, uh, I just finished activating. No, no, it, it passes back and oh, forth. Oh, really? If I was first player last turn, you're That's first player last turn. That's great to know. Yeah. Okay, so I just said that you switch every time uh, the turn ends, basically. I become the first player, then you become the first player. I mean, that is not true. Now, we're gonna be playing that wrong during the rest of this game, uh, but I, I reread the rules, and it says you switch who's first player each new game. I thought it was each new round, which is a bummer. So we'll be doing this slightly wrong as we move forward, but just know that the first player doesn't switch, and, and everything else about the games is the exact same. To be clear, the, the person who starts the turn is gonna be the person who did not just activate. So if you're the last one to, to attack, on a round, the other player is going to shift into the first player position. Which is better. That makes a lot yeah, more sense. Yeah, it means that you don't get, because like we, you'll see is that uh, I'll get to go twice uh, here, and then later on that'll happen again, which is what that rule is trying to prevent. That's right. All right, so keep watching, but that rule is going to be different, so don't get confused. All right, so my turn. Let's, let's jump into this. I get to draw a card. I wish oh, I was. My old familiar friend. Uh, and so this is also a, a nuanced part of the game, right? Which is Bumblebee has only got four health left, but you can't attack Bumblebee unless I attack with Bumblebee. That's correct. So I can save that uh, you can save for, Bumblebee till the for end. a time. Um, let's see, who do I want to make just a monster out of? I don't think I want to have both uh, these lined up. Optimus at bold two right now looking pretty good, but it is nice to spread it around because these guys drop off the board like, Candy. Yeah. Not that candy particularly drops off the board in <laughs> any kind of meaningful dropping way. Dropping off the board. It's not really a... So I am going to um, You know flip. what they say about candy. I don't. <laughs> Drops right off the board. <laughs> they do say that. I've heard that. <laughs> I'm going to flip Ironhide. Uh, now I'm in full... I haven't ever done this. Look at this. Full bot mode. That looks Just great, deployed. actually. I'm a little bit intimidated. Um, and then I'm going to play an action, which is Leap of... Leap into battle. You no, saw that no, earlier. that's the big one. Plus right there. three on Optimus, and he's got bold too. So hopefully we can make make something of that. Uh, and then I'm also going to play piercing blaster, which we've seen on your side of the board over here. So he's going to have pierce three, Ugh. just setting up. But I am going to attack with Optimus. 
So Optimus is going to go, um, and he is going to be at six with bold two. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal four cards. Got a special. That's so I'll good. Reveal two extra. That's good for me. That's good blank. for me. So I still get to reveal three more cards. <laughs> what would you know? Uh, more yeah, defense. Yeah, bring on the blues. My special. <laughs> special. So six cards, none of which uh, being attacked. But I'm still at six. Six total here against, by the way, I'm attacking your Optimus. Okay. You gotta love it though, right? I mean, That's how it goes, man. It's just the, the nature of the game. <laughs> and then he just nails two defense straight up. So he's gonna take two damage there. Uh, it looks one like damage. I have five yeah. armor, my friend. I'll take one. One whole damage. Defense. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sometimes you get hose on the river, you know? Just gotta keep that in mind. All right, over to you. You're gonna love these two cards when you see them. Over to me. All right, that's good. So, I think it's time. I think it's time to do this. Let's go ahead and flip. No, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play an action card. Uh, draw three cards, scrap two from my hand. One, two, three, great. And then That's I'm good. gonna get rid of, this is a good card, and this is a good card, and this is a good card. So I'm gonna get rid of these. They're more draw cards, which is really nice, but like I've got what I need. And then I'm gonna play an upgrade, which is going to be a primary laser on Optimus Prime. Prime, Mary. I'm primed and ready. And then I'm going to, uh, I wanna get that draw going. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip here. Sure. And he gets a, I guess he has the same attack, so it doesn't matter. Gets a bold though, which is nice. Unless it doesn't do anything. Yeah, some, you know, sometimes I, I've seen that happen before. I can't remember exactly when that where, yeah. when. Well, hold on, let me rewind it six minutes. <laughs> Optimus Prime going to attack Optimus Prime, which right. is a necessity given Let's the dance. way that it's I bet going. you I draw all of my damage Three, off the top of this four, deck. Three, four, five attack because of my primary laser, thank you. Now Robert raised a good question, why do the Transformers hold guns whenever they could simply transform their arms into guns? You ever wonder that? I'm glad I'm not the only one. Complete silence. All right, <laughs> bonus. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Right, you'll notice that I'm out of cards, Zach. What do I do? So you shuffle your deck, and this is why it's important to have the set aside zone, because those cards revealed right now, uh, or like a, in events, fact, events that you had played. I like screwed the one, that up. Yeah, because the yeah. inspiring leadership should be set aside. Yeah, that's right. And the two cards you scrapped. Yeah, you scrapped those directly. Oh yeah, they go straight to the discard yeah. pile. There it is. So you you're shuffling, wish. and you are still drawing your bold one, right? Yeah. So you've drawn one card. You have two left. I have two left. Now, one of the big things too, obviously, with any game where you're flipping cards from your deck that have an additional component that isn't just being in play, like that contribute to attack or defense values, like you might build a deck that has nothing but defense cards in it. Sure. Now, I don't know how that. I mean, that would still give you the handheld blaster and those kinds of things. So, but you would never have attack bonuses. There are going to be fascinating ways yeah. to play this game and to build yeah. decks. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of Doomtown, where you can kind of stack yeah. your deck in that way. But essentially, you're looking for. You know, I mean, I think there'll be even decks. Mm -hmm. Even with specials, like you don't want too many. Not too many. Because if you drop two in the same round, it doesn't do anything. And you gotta decide, do I want this for the icon or for the ability? All right, second card is a plasma burst. <laughs> All right. Worthless. Feeling hope, hope. Third card is a double attack. Oh, come <laughs> on. All right, so you're seven at seven. attack, yeah. Uh, Optimus is at two armor, and I get two cards. So we're adding one armor. Mm. So just one armor, so I have three armor. Seven to three. So I'll take four. Some quick math here. All right, that'll end my turn. So these, all these set aside cards will go right into my scrap. Okay. I'll get so this nice here. Then it'll be my turn. I will draw a card. Hmm. 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 Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play Rapid Conversion to Flip Optimus, which will let me draw a card. Mm, and I'm out of deck, nice. so I'm gonna go ahead and show. Oh, that actually, that's exactly it. It's See? in the set aside zone. Now we're getting out of deck, it. so now we're getting the hang of it. It's only uh, fifteen plus years of card playing habit that causes that to be. Yeah, I was gonna say we and there's we've been learning lots of games lately, so they're all all those rules are just mixing around. It's a good time for expandable games. Like this is, there's a lot of games that are hitting very different places of the human brain right now, all the way from like 
the sealed slash limited experience or something like Keyforge to the more deep, complex uh, deck building aspect of like Warhammer Champions to the fight them out, you know, steep yourself in your childhood favorites, Transformers. Like you do. Yeah, and they all play very differently and they're all fun. Isn't it great to live in this world where this you is, have all these options? This is the reality. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and take my flip action to actually flip Optimus Prime back. Oh yeah. So I played the card to let me flip, and then oh, I'm flipping nice. with my yeah, ability. Yeah, so somebody's getting there. I need cards it, badly. You see, because it feels like Optimus is really designed to do that. He's the leader of the force, right? Just you just kind of transform it yeah. all the time. Um, I'm going to attack with Ironhide. Um, no upgrade, huh? I should play an upgrade. I think so. Well, I, I don't want to get rid of this upgrade. Now that's this important upgrade. to know that you can scrap a current upgrade and play a new one in that same slot. So you could scrap a weapon. I'm going to actually put a primary laser on Bumblebee. There you, yeah, then. perfect. Right. So Ironhide's going to attack your Optimus Prime. It's your only exhausted character, so I have to. Uh, and I have Pierce 3 with 4 attack, so I'll go ahead and reveal my 2 cards, which is a 1 and a 1. So it's 5 attack with a Pierce 3. 5 attack versus 3 armor. Ooh, my deck's backwards now. Hmm. Uh, nothing and nothing. So you did five minus three, would normally only take two, but because of Pierce three, I will take three. That is really showing, I think, the power of Pierce there. Yeah. That's really strong. That's very good. Very, very good. Okay, next up. <laughs> These cards are killer. You've had just like garbage, I feel like. Well, Those no, it's the same, same two cards, cards yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll go ahead and reveal them to you because it doesn't show really me, much yeah, matter. Show me. Uh, it's the same one, it's called New Designs. You may play an upgrade. And it's an action. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's the last so, thing you need. So uh, when I'm drawing a card and it's an upgrade, I can already play it, but that would let you play two upgrades in the same turn. And, and it's not doing anything for you me. You flipped out all of your uh, hand-fixing cards, inspiring leadership, I wanna. Uh, okay, I will draw to start my turn. I, however, am getting nothing but dads here. <laughs> it seems like it, given the state of the board, but I'm gonna get you. All right, let's keep this train rolling. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, yeah. I can. He has Pierce if I flip into him. I don't. I'm gonna save that for Red Alert. I'm hashtag giving you my plan. When I flip to Optimus's truck mode, I get to draw a card. Sweet. And then I will play Armor Plating as an armor upgrade. There's weapon, armor, and utility slots, so I've got two out of the three. So now he's got three armor with a tough one. And then I will play Leap into Battle. All right. Plus, Plus three, three to Bumblebee. Yikes. Bumblebee will attack with seven and bold two on Optimus Prime. Uh-oh. This could be bad. This could be real bad. All right. So I'm going to flip four cards. And you're already at seven? That's right. Yikes. We're going to do it here for effect. One. It's a special. Nothing. Two. Uh. Nine. You're at nine with two cards left. Second flip. Nothing, because it's my second bonus. Third flip. One. Ten. And nothing. So, so I'm at ten total. Casual ten. Uh, Optimus is at two armor, and I get to reveal two cards. We're looking for twos here. <laughs> looking for twos. All right, got a one, so I'm at three armor. You bonus into two twos. And no, nothing. That ain't so be it. three armor means I'm going to take seven damage. Uh, which is enough to defeat Optimus Prize. Yeah, Optimus. Into the turn, all of these cards, including Leap into Battle, go into the scrap. All right, so back to me. Back to you. Start of my turn, I will draw a card. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. These cards are great. Got him. Um, let me think about this. I'm going to go ahead and flip Ironhide. Give him some extra armor here. Uh, and then Bumblebee is just going to, I think I need a miracle here to get back in this. Uh, I'm going to upgrade over the primary laser with a grenade launcher. It gives plus four, uh, but then after I use it, after he attacks, it goes away. So it's a one-time effect. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one for him right now. So Bumblebee is going to attack uh, Optimus Prime. Do you ever feel like you really need to clear him off the board this turn? Like right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Uh, so it's going to be eight total attack, and I'll reveal two cards. Blank. And one. So we're at nine. All right, nine. I've got an armor of three. I really need you to do blank. <laughs> blank city here. Bonus. Ah, oh, man, one. hit it. That's not good. 
and nothing. So I'll just put that on top, that's one. And then final flip, nothing. So I have a total of four armor. How much did you do? Uh, nine, so you'll take five. Three, four, five. Ah, oh. and in case you're wondering, these are our tokens compatible with Star Wars Destiny. They're called our Saga tokens. Uh, and they work really nicely for any type of number counting needs that <laughs> like you might damage have. in a game. Well, you're really close there. Yeah, I'm still way behind. Look at the upgrades on the board compared to yours. Mm -hmm. No bueno. You've been outfoxed. I'm not transforming you so hard right now. You are. You're up. crushing me. All right. Um, well, I feel like Red Alert's got a free, a free flip here. So I guess I need to start my turn. Let's draw a card. Oh. Brutal, absolutely brutal. Ah, oh, man, I gotta tell you, my luck in these videos has been just like <laughs> Fire. burning recently. It's great. That's funny. All right, yeah, he's like, that's funny. It's great, <laughs> good job, happy for you. Uh, debilitating Crystal, uh, that's when the upgraded character attacks, return a defending character's upgrade to its owner's hand. Could make use of the cards in your hand there. And then uh, let's play that's the fair. team up tactics action. Choose a character. If it's a truck, repair two damage from it. There it is. There you go. <laughs> There's actually a card I was... If it's uh, a card, draw two cards, which is also really hoping, nice. Really hoping you didn't draw, which I don't think you did, or you'd be playing it here. You'll notice that that only triggers in the alt mode, where it literally says truck, truck or car. You'll notice that the bots don't have that on them, so that's something worth noting. And then I will launch my uh, salvo here. Red alert. Has oh, a grand launcher goes away, by the way. Oh, that's right. Has a five attack. It's on a Pierce 3 right now, which is really nice. And here we go. Five attack. Are you attacking? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, that one. <laughs> the Bumblebee. Six. All right. Just did a special for me. Nothing. Okay. Six. We've got two armor, so I'll reveal two. We get a blank and a special. So I'll reveal two more. Plus two. And plus two on the attack, so it's four armor. To six, I would normally do two. Pierce is gonna be three damage. All right, so it takes him up to eight. Did we do it? We did do it. So we're gonna ready everything, and then I was first player this turn. So unfortunately, that's gonna also make you the first player here. Passing it on back. Oh, and I forgot, technically tough with uh, Bumblebee. Oh so yeah, I bring should flip another card, and it doesn't do anything. Okay. All right, well, these Transformers are in a good spot here. So my turn, I get to draw a card. Let's, let's just get into it. What do you think? Let's just get into it. Obviously I want to use Optimus Prime before this happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and flip him. All right. I get that bold. And then I can play two cards as I like. I'm not going to play any. No, I may as well. Let's ramming speed that piercing blaster. Scrap an enemy upgrade. Yikes. This goes to my set aside. That was actually pretty important. Because I have pierce three on uh, Optimus it's coming in. completely correct. You're very right. Uh, three, four, five damage coming in. And here we go. I assume you're attacking Bumblebee? Yes. Six, seven. To my two armor with tough one. Blank. One. Mm. So we're at three. Four. So that's still gonna be enough. Seven minus four, what is that? Defeat the old Bumblebee. Three. Bumblebee right. out. He's Good luck on Ironhide. Yeah, right. Okay, my, my turn. It's yours. I'll go ahead and draw a card. Oh yeah, that was fortunate. I'll play a Piercing Blaster. Oh, nice. Um, and I will stay in this mode because uh, he has more armor. So Pierce three, three here. I know Optimus only has three left. I'll attack Optimus. Go ahead and reveal my cards. So it's definitely going to do three, right? That's Four, the cool thing. and a special. Five. Five total. All right. Optimus has three armor, technically. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Five ways from Sunday, Optimus is gone. All right, and so he's gone, and this gets us to a new situation, which is I'm out of Transformers, That's which true. means you're gonna get to activate both of your Transformers. That is going to be the game. And now I need a little more than some luck here uh, to survive. All right, start my turn off. And then I can play, and then I will have to finish out with everybody. So let's see if, oh, just great. Just great, Zach. 
Let me see if I've seen the card yet. I, that was a big deal when Jonathan and I were playing. No, not yet. All right, let's flip here. That's going to give Pierce 1 to all of my other characters. So given now Red Alert has ability. Pierce 4. Pierce 4, that's right. So let's get that out of the way, shall we? He also gives it to himself. That's right. It doesn't say that? Each of your characters, yep. Yeah. Not other characters. You would think. Man, he's got a 5. He's I should, got a 5. I dealt with him earlier. And he's got Pierce 4 because of Bumblebee's ability. That seems all right. All right, so 5 coming in. When it attacks, uh, return that one to your hand. I'll maybe get to use my events this next round. And... Six, nothing. Okay. So six total. So you got three armor. I'll reveal two. We get a blank and an attack. So I will cancel three of it. So take three. Actually, Pierce, Pierce four. four. So take uh, four. Take <laughs> and then I immediately move right in to Bumblebee. Um, now I think this is still my turn. I don't think same, the turn is ended. Turn, yeah. So we might have to check the uh, you guys at home. Check us the on rules the rule book there. <laughs> Three, bold two. That's gonna be four, five, I, it's gonna be good. Nothing, one. So six? So four, oh, I got bold two. Five. Oh my. <laughs> and it's Pierce, Pierce one. So. I think the deck I would build is all attack blips. Yeah, that just, uh, that's not surprising. Roll out. Not surprising. You get one more card? One more card. Nothing. All right, so what are you at? Five with Pierce one. I will reveal two. We nothing and a special. Nothing. Nothing. All right, so five minus three. Two damage. Take your two damage. Okay, so that's the end of the round. We ready everything. You were the first player, so it'll now come back to me. It's all you. See if I can get a final salvo going here. All right, so I will play new designs to play two upgrades. Oh, here it is. The moment uh, you've been waiting for. That's been in your hand the whole time. Two of them, unfortunately. For armor plated and piercing blaster. So I have pierce three and plus one armor. Um, and then I will stay on this side. Now you have a pierce a ton over there, so that's not great. We'll go for it anyway. Uh, you know what, we'll go ahead and flip. I think I've got to just hit hard yeah, here. Hit. So four coming in at uh, red alert, and I'm looking for ten. Casual ten. Ooh. Not possible. <laughs> One for the defense. Technically, I think it's One possible. Special. If it was a two, and then I specialed into two twos, uh, but that is not happening. That is Anything just not near happening. it. So it's five. So five total with a pierce three. Okay, and I've got zero. You still get a real two card. Five. One. Bonus. Hmm. Okay. So I have one armor total. So you're gonna take four damage. I'll take four, and you've got uh, Pierce anyway. Now here's here's a question that I have for you, Zach. And you might right. not know this. So this is something that the game I'm less certain on of any rule in this game that there is. So let's just hash it out on camera. You want to talk it over? All right. So Pierce says, do at least like for yours, do at least three damage when attacking, but not more than attack total. So what is attack total in that instance? Is it this number on your card, or is it all of that once you reveal all of your cards together? I think the total is with the blips added. Okay. Yeah. So, so if you're revealing do. seven, then you can do up to seven. Okay. But if you, you know, if you had pierce eight, it wouldn't just do eight damage. You would have to get to eight before Makes sense. it would actually do that damage. So how much uh, how much did you do? Sorry, I got distracted. Four. Yeah, by Four. your great cards. <laughs> <laughs> got them. All right, so I need to do one damage. Yep, when you have There's a million ways I can do that. Right? I believe in you, yes. But we're gonna do it the with, only with way I know. style? Leaping into battle. Plus three. All right, let's see. I, uh, I nuked a fully full health Optimus Prime in a game from orbit. All right, eight attack, three pierce. Nine attack, 11 attack. <laughs> Casual 11. All right, so I've got three armor here. I'm gonna reveal 27 <laughs> cards. Plus two attack, plus one defense. And that's the game. <laughs> More than there, you have it. Eye. And so, you know, I think just some some thoughts there. You obviously got ahead pretty early, and part mm -hmm. of that was due to the Optimus flipping. You went for that very quickly. Um, when I was playing last time, we uh, several times Jonathan and I had ready for action. And I don't know how many of those are in this deck, uh, but it lets you ready um, one of your that ten changes. star or fewer characters. That's an incredible card for this game. 
It's hugely beneficial. And I, uh, I'm just seeing how many in here. It looks like two. So we were able to basically attack with a character, they do some damage to it, you ready it, attack with a different character, so now they're having to really spread their damage around. Um, and I think, again, I think deck building is gonna make these decks a lot more consistent and dependable. But like even there, I fell behind on upgrades and damage very quickly. Yeah. Uh, and then the game, I mean the game, even though I did, it's a very normal thing for the game to be that quick. Yeah, like, and uh, did you have fun? Yeah. Until yeah. until I only had two cards that could do nothing. That's right. And was just obviously That's behind. It was like, all right. A little bit less to know. Maybe not a great card and go for the old starter set. But uh, yeah, so this is Transformers, the trading card game. There's been a number of different Transformers games over the years. This is the newest one from Wizards of the Coast. And uh, you can see it now. You transform, you play cards, you attack each other. And it's actually it's super fun. It is I mean, really that's fun. That's the thing is like not every game to me needs to be like this giant, complex, intricate system, um, like the Key Forges or the Netrunners of the world. Uh, you know, I would play this on a lunch break and you know throw some cards in. Maybe we split a box. Sure. Throw some cards in and get our favorite Transformers on the table. Well, I'm I'm pretty certain the booster packs come with one. Transformer? Big Dan. So I could easily see a situation where you maybe get like six or seven packs, and then you get to pick you know, your 25 points worth of characters to play from that, and then also that forms most of your deck. Yeah. Um, I don't know how Draft or Sealed's gonna work I think this game. game would be a super fun Draft game. I think Draft and Sealed super to fun. me would be like, because you're, draft, you're drafting the icons too, right? Yeah. So you can just start scooping up all the attack icons and not worry about it. 100%. So we'll see. Uh, more to come. And of course, you can find the rest of the learning Transformers TCG series on our website. And until next time, keep playing.